Jury selection is underway in the trial of a rideshare driver accused of murdering a man protesting against police brutality in 2020. Army Sergeant Daniel Perry says he shot Garrett Foster in self-defense. KVU's Isabella Basco shows us the biggest challenges attorneys will face in this case. Since the age of 17, Garrett Foster shared a special bond with a woman named Whitney Mitchell. He served as a caretaker for her when she had to have her arms and legs amputated. Patricia Curvin is Mitchell's mother. He would never go home. He would go down to the basement and sleep in the car all night long and then get up the next morning, come knock on the door to see Whitney. I just remember the phone call I got from my daughter. And I, it's just hard to talk about it. Just the that sound that I heard from her, the screams. Foster was killed at a police brutality protest three years ago in downtown Austin. U.S. Army Sergeant Daniel Perry was working as a rideshare driver. According to Perry's lawyer, he dropped off a rideshare customer downtown when he got surrounded by demonstrators. Perry claims Foster raised his rifle, prompting Perry to shoot him. Perry says he acted in self-defense and turned himself in after the shooting. Two years ago, a grand jury indicted Perry with murder, deadly conduct, and aggravated assault. Criminal defense attorney Brad Vinson says the prosecutors will be required to prove every element of those offenses beyond a reasonable doubt. I think the 911 call with Daniel Perry is going to be more than enough to raise the self-defense claim where he immediately calls the police and says this is what happened. Vinson says when you charge someone with murder, you have to intentionally or knowingly kill someone. Vincent believes it'll be a hurdle for the state to prove Perry's intent. Unless they're able to show, like I said, that he's he's coming down there looking for it, that he's antagonizing the situation, that uh, that he raised his gun with no authority to do so. Um, I don't know that those facts are there in this case. Everyone's lives were turned upside down. Garrett's mom's family is destroyed. My family's destroyed. If convicted, Perry faces up to life in prison in Austin. I'm Isabella Basco for KVU News. Isabella, thank you. Now, KVU reached out to an attorney representing Perry. They declined to comment on the story tonight.